You can't divorce a person from their ideas. You can't divorce a person from their uh, uh, activities. And uh, I certainly don't want to be divorced from mine. I'm a total entity. And uh, when when I you see what I do, this is an extension of what I think. someone who doesn't believe, I started to say in God, uh, but I suppose in any type of, of uh, superhuman or, or religious being. Atheists have a tremendous number of other really idiotic and extraordinarily stupid ideas, which include the Bible as a holy book, uh, the efficacy of prayer, a life after death, and a sort of church structuring. Uh, with everything that goes with that. I think if you'll take a number, I'll call. I'll... That may be one of the attorneys. It's all right. What am I going to do? You're busy. You could take it from the other uh, number. An atheist is someone who has to be harassed by the existing establishment power structure because we're a threat to those things that they hold dear. The principal threat that an atheist is, is an atheist is a person who questions every kind of authority. And this is the thing that is important. Because if we can, uh, without blinking an eye, question the ultimate authority, God, who must be obeyed, then we can question the authority of the state. We can question the authority of a university structure. We can question the authority of our employer. We can question anything. So I think that primarily what an atheist is, is a person who looks at uh, an authoritarian idea or an authority structure and says to that authority structure, from whence do you derive your authority and why should I be obedient to you? It appears to me that if I have human intelligence that this is enough for me to try to challenge whatever you're doing. Well, a few years ago, Mr. Malcolm X began to lift him up to the himself up to the place where he began to blaspheme Almighty God. And you see what happened to him. And I am baptized with the Holy Ghost, which is a tremendous event for me. I am not granting permission in any way for this letter to be revealed to anyone or made public at any level. I only felt it charitable that you should know that I have you have attracted the attention of a person who is on speaking terms with the Almighty. <laughs> That's too good to be true. And I reach out and I take a little bit of Ralph Waldo Emerson, and I take a little bit of Thomas Paine, and I take a little bit of Mahatma Gandhi, and I take a little bit of every human being, every great human being, uh, who has conducted himself so that his life uh, has shown what can happen if a person is totally committed uh, to the human community or to the earth or to what have you. I think Isaac Walton, uh, who uh, attempted uh, the first efforts of conservation in the United States, that those persons, and we should just take and pick here and pick there and pick any place else, uh, ideas, no matter where they are, 